Hello Sagittarius, 1st to the 30th. I am doing the reading on May 26th. So you might have residual energy coming in for the last week of May that um, is going to affect this reading as well, okay? So the first card out is the Two of Cups in the reverse position. I'm going to see um, the card surrounding it before I start talking about this. But in general, it's um, also, you know, this is the signal. Usually when I do uh, private reading for clients and they ask about relationships, this usually indicates that it's the end of a cycle, okay? It's sort of like things have already run its course, you kind of like um, have, um, you have learned as much as you can from one another and it is time to move on. In work relationships, in per interpersonal relationship, in romance, that's what the card would indicate. However, it could also indicate like a falling out between people that can be fixed. I do feel in this situation that um, it's family related, so it could be like legal proceeding, like a, a, a breakdown in the family unit. It could also be, you know, parents, um, a marriage relationship, people are getting divorced and things like that, or they're divvying up the assets between parties. I do feel in this situation, it is related to the family, okay? Or you might have a spouse who lives far away, who travels for work, for example, and they might, um, you might have like a significant relationship with another person, but they don't live in the same household or they have recently moved out because of a, a disagreement or, you know, a dispute, an argument between the two of you, something like that, okay? So let's pull out the rest of the cards. Okay, Ten of Wands, all right. Yeah, so um, it's the lack of another person in the picture. I feel that it's in the home or work environment. And because of the the person the other person's absence you're kind of like shouldering the weight of the world okay so it's it feels like um, you know before there were two people you're working as a team one person is out of the picture so now you have to like um, do all the work and you don't have the other person in your life to depend on okay it can be for good or for um, you know it, it can be good or bad but what I do sense is um, this card is still in the upright position so it indicates to me you know Financially, if there were two people that um, this financial windfall is supposed to go to, now there's only you or the other person. You know, there's only you. So the finan you're going to reap the whole financial rewards, okay? So you don't have to divide the financial situation between another party. So that's one way that it can go well. But at the expense, you have to, like, do twice the work. So, you know, it's... um. It's just the law of the universe. You're going to um, reap what you put in, okay? So you're going to reap what you sow. Excuse me, I can't talk with this. Um, okay, so I hope this makes sense for a lot of you who might be going through this issue. So while well, we have a very good card here. All right. Okay, so what I am sensing is a lot of you have let go of romantic situations okay like romantic partners because this indicates a new love that is coming in for you this is going to be something that is um, that will surpass and exceed your expectations and I do feel in general a lot of you might be a little bit walled up okay so be very careful when this energy comes in you're kind of like going through the motions picking up the pieces of you know uh, in the aftermath of this falling out or you're trying to get your house in order you're trying to like keep up with the responsibilities at work and you're kind of like not really seeing what's in front of you and then this love out of the blue just like um, rolls in okay so um, as busy as you are take some time off to really enjoy this opportunity and and you know really try to enjoy other people's um, I would say like company okay so seek the company of others because amongst them you might achieve a great love but in general this could also be financially linked as well all the work and all the hard work that you're putting in all the energy and the effort you're going to have a really great payoff in terms of you know getting uh, having satisfaction for a job well done but also having that financial gain that's coming in for you okay and at the same time the ace of cup is on top of this card which indicates to me a, a big milestone in your life okay there is something that uh, you have been wanting to do for a really long time so this is embarking on a new journey possibly it could also be like having this um, you in the past you were manifesting this big 
work project and now you're actually going to implement it in the real world so this is a very very important milestone you're going to have like um you know that green light energy to go ahead with this towards the end of the month okay and i do feel in the meantime you're kind of like um you're keeping yourself very busy to do last minute touches on this work project potentially so that it can manifest in a way that is very um with a very good and prosperous outcome so um, another thing I am sensing here is a lot of you might have recently like or might put a house on the market. I do feel the house is no longer serving its purpose. You're going to get a buyer and um, but in the process of buying it, I feel that a few minor repairs or a lot of little repairs have to be done in order for you to find the right buyer. Okay, so that is going to possibly drag on until the end of this month and you're able to sell the house finally at the end of the month okay so that's another way that that can play out for you I'm actually going to pull out two more cards here okay so um, regarding legal issues I do feel that um, if this is a divorce or even you know so dividing up a property or dividing up your assets I do sense that, um, yeah, so Sagittarius in general, most of you will have to um, pay out the other person, and it's going to be a little bit more than you've expected, okay? I don't feel that it is going to be problematic because you are going through a good phase in your life at this point, and financially, both of these cards are finance, uh, indicate finances. This is in the reverse position, so I do feel that, you know, um, property and things like that have to be divided between two people who are not no longer speaking to one another they're walking along the same life path this is somebody that you've invested a great deal of feelings into who you've had a very long history with but um and it's not that they're bad people it's just there was a falling out okay you've like outgrown each other and you're at a point in your life where you can embark on a new journey without one another so that's what I'm sensing this falling out is about. It's not a major blowout. It's just, you know, simply things have run their course or its course and you are meant for other people. You are meant for other things. So because of it, you can divide this up on friendly terms. Granted, you know, you have five pentacles here. Someone, you can't divide up a pentacle. So someone might end up with one more than the other. But I don't feel, you know, it's, it shouldn't be problematic. So don't make it a problem, okay? But that's something that is coming in here with the Justice card as well as underneath the Five of Pentacles. Okay, so someone might end up with slightly more. But um, I feel that, you know, he or she deserves it, maybe due to health problems, okay? So they might need it. So it's in your best interest to just let them have that one thing and move on with your life if that's something that's bothering you. And at the same time, towards the end of this week, I do feel that you're going to be in a good place, okay? So emotional satisfaction is going to come in, and it's related to this one major work project. And also, there's a sense of accomplishment. There's a sense of, like, uh, picking up the pieces and being very content with all the work that you've put in and how well you're able to pick up the pieces in your life and move on. So you're going to be in a really good place, and you're going to feel very competent and confident about your endeavors in the future and um, as for this situation I don't feel that um, both parties were in the wrong it's just you know the wrong relationship for you it's something that um, cycled in time and time and time again and the person was not you know the best I don't feel that they're horrible people you know this is actually a card of like great emotional intellectual rapport and you might have like um, the same value system, okay? So I don't, I don't feel like this is a relationship of dichotomy where both parties don't get along. There is actually, you know, a great deal of like um, sameness about both parties. However, the relationship was dragged on, and then it ran past its expiration date, and both parties were still hanging on due to a sheer sense of emotional financial security. This is actually going to be overturn this month and you can finally get yourself out of this situation but it is going to um, require like extracting yourself especially your financial entanglements with one another in order to make a clean break okay so once again I don't feel it, it was a bad relationship so just know that um, 
you could be the best people in the world if you're not made for each other then you know let one another go because um, then you can find true love okay in the process of letting go of things that don't serve you the universe will replace those things with things that are actually good for you with things that are conducive for your growth in the future so just let it go and uh, you will be in a much better place okay and this is going to come about too a lot of you might be in a relationship with um, possibly like a water sign like a Pisces and a uh, Pisces a cancer or a Scorpio he or she is very very supportive of you and I, I feel that um, you're quickly realizing that um, so a, a water sign is an opposing energy but water signs in general are very emotionally nurturing they're very supportive so they will always always stand behind you okay so they they don't try to talk you out of it when you've had your heart set on something they are very nurturing and supportive even if um even if they don't have great stock in what it is that you're trying to pursue they know how to be receptive and they know how to take a back seat when their partner is trying to shine so i feel like in general you're starting to realize that you want partnerships that are emotionally nurturing you don't want the excitement anymore. You're kind of tired of it because um, maybe the excitement was in the previous relationship, but there wasn't a lot of like emotional attachment, you know. So um, you both might have the same ways of living, same ways of doing things, but in general, um, you were kind of like um, doing your own thing, and you gradually drifted apart. That's what I'm sensing here. It's a, a drifting apart, but then neither party. Um, realized it until it was too late and they realized they have nothing in common anymore and that's when you know they realize that they have to end the relationship so I do feel moving forward you might end up with somebody who's very different from you but they are uh, giving you that emotional nurturance and that's something that you are starting to realize for the very first time that that's what you crave okay and at the same time I do feel throughout this process throughout this ordeal you might be in a place where you feel very unloved you feel like kind of like cast out but I do sense that this there is a change in the atmosphere there's like a vibrational change happening because you were able to let go of that situation that energy is gone from your life so it's like it unblocks other things that are trying to get in other emotionally fulfilling relationships other jobs opportunities for example other financial windfalls for example so that is be those channels are being unblocked and then you have many blessings that are going to come in for you and as a result you're realizing that once and for all that you are well taken care of that you are loved and that you are reaping a lot of abundance okay that there are people around you who really want to help you who really want to be there for you so I mean it's a big transformative month because more than anything there is a revival in your self-esteem, in your sense of optimism for the future, and your sense of like lovability and worthiness is what I'm sensing here. And you're coming into a situation in which you just realize, you know, this is what I want. And I want somebody who is emotionally nurturing rather than someone who's exciting, rather than someone who's stable, but they can't really give me that emotional support. Okay, so um, for fire signs in general, you kind of... Um, you kind of blaze through life so I feel like a little bit of introspection is going to happen for this month it's not a, a long introspective process in the way that the hermit card represents or in the same way that that um, four of swords represent it's more of a very like um, a quick like um, lightning fast type of intuitive knowing where you're realizing okay that didn't work so I can at least you know through the process of elimination rule it out and now I want this you know I, I want this grand love and I want this really um, supportive you know love situation I want people around me who support me no matter what I choose to do and usually you make the right choice because um, you are you have very very high moral integrity you have very high ideals and standards and you don't compromise yourself okay so the people around you more than anything they really admire that about you so you are going to attract the right people by not compromising yeah I'm sensing here don't compromise your values this is um you know this is compromise this is the Libra Libra are very great at uh, compromising they're great at diplomacy Sagittarius um, 
tend to be a little more blunt and when you don't like something, when you, something doesn't jive well with your value system, you will let the other party know, which is a great thing to do actually. And um, what I am sensing here too is you might be entangled with somebody who you know is not good for you, who is not going to be around for you and now you're kind of sick of it. You know, it's kind of like they're first of all flaky and then um, they tell you they're going to be there for you through thick and thin. And then when, you know, times get rough, they just remove themselves from the picture, for example. So now they want a second chance and you're just not having it, okay? So this could also indicate, you know, the breakdown in relationships in the compromise department. But I feel that you're in a good place right now. So it is important for you to um, not compromise on the things that you believe in. I do feel that, um, yeah, so the cards are echoing the same things. When you can hold true to your own values, when you can stand alone despite the opposition, when you have enough like inner strength and conviction in the things that you believe in, even though it's lonely up there, as long as you don't compromise, okay? then you're going to have this really huge uh, sense of like uh, fulfillment and happiness. And um, I'm get, I'm, I was getting the same sense for um, Aries too. So I'm feeling like this might be a fire sign issue. And I know like all fire signs in general, but Sagittarius and Leos, you don't compromise for the things that you believe in, okay? It's, it's hard for you to do that. You love your partner and you are very good like caretakers. And once you devote yourself, you are committed. But I do sense that um, when it comes to like compromising your integrity and things like that, you're just not going to do it. And um, you're going to have to make hard decisions too, such as um, Aries, when it comes to, you know, whether or not to stay in this relationship where you have to kind of like sell out a part of yourself or sell out like things that you really value or you have to suppress things that you have to suppress your value system in order to work well with another partner for example in order to work on a um, to have like a smooth work environment with people that you don't that you clash with on a values based system so you're going to realize that you know it's okay that you you are strong enough to be on your own and to carry your own sense of integrity and not have to compromise yourself in order to achieve like um in order to achieve stability, in order to achieve like a very um, stagnant work environment without disruption. So, for example, you would rather like if, for example, in the past you have like um, kind of like swept things under the rug rather than um, to avoid like big arguments about value system, for example, for this month, you're going to realize that it's just not worth it. It is not worth like maintaining the peace at the expense of your own integrity okay so um, yeah I feel like this is a fire sign thing the same energy is coming in for all three signs pretty much for mainly for like Aries and it's coming up again here for you so I do feel it's a fire energy and um, you know mercury in retrograde brings about uh, things in our lives that we have to re-examine as well so it's actually a very very introspective phase but I do feel that because you're a fire sign, it's going to affect you in a different way. And it's, it's going to affect you, like I mentioned, it's going to come in very swiftly. And then you're kind of like, you have this like awakening, like this is what I, I want, you know. Rather than coming in stages and rather than like being transformative throughout the month, I do feel this is going to come in very, very swiftly. But you're going to have like a lot of good insights, okay, about what you want to do and what you need to make you ultimately very happy, okay? And um, in the process, you're going to realize very quickly that you have to be you in order to be happy. Every time I see this card, I think of it as the essence of a fire sign. Because the wand energy, first of all, is a fire sign. This man is wearing a red robe and he is surrounded by fire, Okay, so this is something that is, um, you know, being true to yourself. When you are true to yourself, then you're going to know where you want to go. So it's kind of like um, through interactions with other people, through our jobs, through our daily routine, through all the things that we have to do to sustain and maintain our life, we lose track of ourselves. Okay, so we lose track of, of direction. We lose track of where we want to go, who we want to be. So... 
surround yourself by your own element and that what I mean by that is um, don't compromise the things that you believe in because those are the things that makes you the person that you are they are also a product of your upbringing so without those things to remind you of where you come from you're not going to know where you want to go so this is important here and I do feel that ultimately that is what's going to make you happy here so um, I hope you enjoy the reading if you like the if it resonates with you please like share subscribe if you would also like a private reading please contact me at temperatestar at gmail.com I hope you all have a fabulous June I feel that you will and um, let me know how this plays out for you as well for those of you who are going through this you know energy okay and I will be back next week as well for the weekly reading thank you so much Sagittarius for watching